Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? So pretty good here. Rain and gray again. <laughs> it's either rain or snow or really cold. But anyways, I got a call late yesterday. Um, that was being Friday. Today is Saturday. Um, that the trailer that we got was ready. So we're gonna run up and pick her up. And I know somebody suggested, why don't you use your um, uh, trailer hitch off your uh, trailer. <laughs> The big one, the big weight distribu distribution hitch. I'm like, that's a good idea, actually. But I just remembered, I just got it out here and put it on, and it's gonna be way too high. Way too high, so I'll get him just to set me up a, like a ball hitchy thing. You know, this could be adjusted down, but um, uh, I'd have to take her down and buzz it all, the, the bolts off, and blah, 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 and mess around and stuff with it, but probably, if I was going to take a big load, I might do that and then uh, get another set of the, you know, the the bars for the trailer itself. I don't know, uh, but this one I don't think she's going to work. So I'll throw her in the back, see what he says, but it's definitely going to probably sit up too high. <laughs> it's going to be sitting on like a huge angle, so that's not too good. Yeah. Anyways, the trapper guy is in again checking his stuff, but... Uh, I just don't really have time to run down and see him this morning. These guys open at 8 o'clock, which is 7.59 right now, and they're closed at 1. So I'll have to talk to him later, I guess. He's like, if we don't get him today, we're going to destroy or put a big hole or something, he says, right in that uh, hut of theirs and put a trap right at the hole. <laughs> He's like, we'll get him. We'll get him. I think he's getting pretty frustrated. Standing there, basically a shotgun, waiting for him to come out. Funny thing was, yesterday he said, uh, I come walking down, and he was already down there like that, and he's like, oh, Bill, go over there and jump around and break up some of that ice. I'm like, oh, okay. I just seen him swim underneath the ice here. He's, like, oh, he's right in here somewhere. Trying to get him scared to one of the traps, I guess. But I never, I never didn't see him again, and who knows where he went, though, so. Anyways, uh, looks like we got a foggy kind of drive up to the place here, and uh, when we get there, uh, probably can't really film much there, but we'll get uh, paid up, hooked up, brought home, and uh, have a look at this uh, this thing. Maybe we'll try uh, loading something onto it unless it's pouring rain out or something. I don't know. Whoa, it's like extra foggy up here, just north of me here. Woo. Maybe because we're going up in the world, I don't know. She's... Uh, not too, too, too bad, but uh, she's uh, getting kind of worse-ish. <laughs> I turned my little foggy lights on there. I don't really know if they make any difference. All they do is just make more glare for people coming at you, really. But uh, we're not quite there yet. I'll uh, click on the camera as soon as we, you know, kind of come by this place on the highway here. So sorry, the other day when we come up here, I kind of realized that that burger joint place was kind of messy looking and I, you know, I didn't uh, get a good shot of it. But that's the new burger joint coming in. There's a little bit of a story behind that. I think I might have told you the other day there. The guys, the guy that originally owned it, owned it for many, 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 many years. And it was a really good, really good place. And then uh, he sold it, retired, sold it. And sold it to some Asian people. Um, and they, uh, they ran it for a lot of years, but slowly and slowly and slowly it got lower and lower and crappier quality and then it was just pretty nasty and not even hardly clean inside, you know, so I guess uh, they shut her down, you know, nobody was, I guess there was still people coming, but it was, the numbers were down obviously, so they uh, either had enough of it, shut her down, didn't want to sell it because it was so disgusting, and um, basically this guy bought it again. Uh, the building and stuff and uh, tore that building all all down and started building that one so started right from scratch again so I don't know this guy must have been must be pretty old now but uh, <laughs> I don't know right at Katie corner to that though there's another burger place that's pretty good too but they really got expensive like for a, like a hamburger combo so hamburger fries and like only the smaller kind of drink it's like $13 <laughs> that's a little much so this place here originally had the five dollar meal you get the burger uh the fries and um, like a 21 ounce drink for five bucks plus tax don't know if he's going to be able to offer that now with this nice new fancy shiny building but uh, he's got a lot to pay for now but um 
surprisingly, uh, the other burger joint, the one that's $13 for their combo thing, uh, they do do pretty well because um, the guy's father drives, um, I don't know what it even is, it's a freaking expensive, nice looking car. <laughs> it's one of those cars that doesn't really tell you what kind of car it is on the car. You just know what it is by looking at it. I don't know what it is by looking at it. It's a car to me. You drive her down the road, she gets dirty. You walk in from money outside and you put your feet in, the floor gets dirty. It's a car to me, <laughs> right? It's just because it's a $150,000 car doesn't mean it's any different, so. Anyways, we are here. The guy behind me isn't too, falling too close. Oh, he's got her outside there, you see, so that's good. It's hard to see on the camera, I know, but. So I'll go in and pay up with the man and uh, get her hooked up. And uh, he'll probably want me to, you know, test the brakes and stuff on the trailer, make sure she's all, all good and golden. So I'm pretty sure they fixed everything if needed anything. So anyway, it's a pretty sweet little spot here. You know that? It's sweet. They even do snow plows. Look at that. Wouldn't that look pretty sweet on the front of my truck? One of them. I don't know. All right, kind of hard to see in the crappy old dirty, crappy rainy, wetty mirror. But there she is. She's she's hooked. She's hooked. And. Uh, we got to see, uh, presuming that uh, it knows that I've got a trailer on here. Although, this trailer disconnected. Uh-oh, that's not good. Mmm, there we go. There we go. No, it's not. I think it's supposed to hook on seven. I'd be probably a little much for that one with no weight on it. We'll try around six. I think the uh, the big the big travel trailer was uh, six or seven. I had her set to. Okay, she seems to be working now. Um, Hard to show you in the mirror. I can't really show you there, I guess, but if I hold this guy on, it should. Yeah, it's like dragging it. <laughs> it's kind of hard to show you that, but anyways, I'll uh, test him out on the way home here a little bit. Kind of hard with nothing on it, though. Well, for being empty, I'm gonna go at one and try her. I just hit the brakes here when it was at four and it skidded, so that's not a good thing. here we go I can't really film while I'm doing this so uh, bear, bear with me well so far I haven't smashed the brakes on too hard yet but uh, so far it's not I got it actually on zero now and it's not really needing too much for brakes so that's kind of nice um, yeah <laughs> Might need a bit more if you're really wanting to tromp on them, but I got a guy right behind me, so I can't really just tromp on them. But uh, anyways, the brakes uh, weren't working until I wiggled the little plug and kind of shoved her in more. I don't, he hooked it on, and I don't think he kind of pushed it in far enough. The lights were working, but the brakes weren't working, so. Yeah, the guy's right behind me still, so holy frig, dude. Really, do you want me to put the tailgate down and you can drive up in? Like, my God. <laughs> So that was breaking with no trailer brakes on, so I guess that's good. And these are electric magnetic brakes on these things, so... I don't know a whole lot about them, but I know that when I increase the intensity here on the Dewey, it sends more power to the magnets, which pull the brakes tighter. Tighter? You know what I mean? Pull the brakes harder, tighter. Toe is very nice, though, I must say. I asked him about the deck on my other little trailer and um, like you had said a while back there if I brought it back you'd fix her up for me oh yeah yeah bring her bring her back and we'll fix her up for you I'm like okay <laughs> so I gotta pop that one up someday I also asked him about it bouncing too when, he, when it's empty he's like oh yeah well single axles being so light you know they just start a little bounce and away they go so which is kind of crappy because you think they'll be an awful hard on the on the torsion rubber you know Inside the axle bouncing like crazy, but yeah, this seems to be uh, pretty sweet. It's, it's a nice uh, flowing trailer. 
I don't know if I'm gonna put anything on it today or not. I think I might just take her home and, and park her for now. And uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, a nicer day we'll throw something on. I just don't wanna get something all out, you know, on the trailer and get it all strapped down. It's all crappy and stuff. And, so, but anyways, we'll get her home and um, I have to find a, find a parking spot, I guess, for it, hopefully. Okay, well, we made her home. Made her home. Not a problem. Um, I asked him about the wet weight distribution hitch, too, and he's like, no, nah, no, nah, you shouldn't need that for that. Okay. He's like, yeah, you won't be... You know, I can only put... I think he said 6,000 pound on this thing. They're... Um, 6,000 or 7,000, he said. I think it was 6,000. But anyways, um, it says on the Dewey there, on the inside of the, you know thing but anyways we got a new ball hitch in the, the big feller ball under there two and five sixteenths big feller she is there two and five sixteenths so pretty sweet um what else what else what else yeah this was uh, not quite in or something so i pushed her in real good and then it was it was working so you might have to uh maybe i don't know change that end or something i know the truck's fine but uh, yeah, so there's your sides too. It says it comes, it came with the side kit. So I'm like, sweet, because normally I guess it would have been just the deck and then this, this rail, right? So we got some tie downs, but I'm not too sure if I really like them a whole lot. Those are kind of weird. How the heck would you get a hook in and around that? But definitely not going to get my uh, two hook guys in there unless I hooked under here maybe, but I don't know. I might end up changing them to something else. I kind of like those D ring, you know, ones that right in the deck so there should be spots under here to mount stuff too I would think kind of hard to show you I'm a one inch marine grade plywood on the deck so you can just tell it's really strong <laughs> um, tires are 14 inch and I uh, guess you could go with a 15 inch there too if you really wanted to um, easy lube Deweys on the Deweys, you know, you just pump that full of the, the Deweys. And I wanted to check and see if these were, yeah, that one's cold. Let's make sure nothing's dragging. That one's cold. I'll have a look at this ramp after two. That's one of the super awesome things I liked about it. Uh, this brake drum's cold. Not brake drum's cold, that's good. So nothing's dragging. They didn't really do too good of a job of cleaning her up there. She's still got, uh, huh. He said he loaned it out to um, their uh, township guys up there for a fair, a fair winter, summer, or uh, Santa Claus fair, I guess, so. Those things are stupid, I don't like them, but one thing I liked about it when we were coming down there, like my stepfather's red metal trailer's got the two ramps. And they're always clanging and banging, and this side I couldn't even hear nothing, so it was super, super nice. Super nice. Super. Oh yeah, I'm gonna like that. <laughs> I like that with my other trailer too. Super, super nice. Load your crap. And away you go. Sweet. This is gonna be freaking awesome. Now you're probably still wondering why on earth would you want something like this? Really? Why? Well, my other trailer is fine, but it's only a six by 10 where this is uh, one, two, three, four, five. It's actually a little more than six because my boot's a little more than 12. So this is actually seven, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a bit maybe. I'll put a tape on here eventually, but uh, uh, seven by, actually I got a measure tape in the truck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and I say 18. 
I'm gonna grab my tape here. I'll double make sure. It's, it's a long trailer. <laughs> okay, so we're about six foot nine, 81 inches by, this is, this is the width. The width. The width. The width. Oh, I don't know if this tape's gonna go long enough. I don't know, I got a 16 foot tape here. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I guess we'll say she's 16 foot. Wow. That's pretty freaking awesome. 16 footer. Wow. Sweet. But I don't feel like loading anything on her today, so, um, yeah. Grab the bar. Pull off the, the pin that'll snap you in the finger. Obviously, these ones aren't too bad. Line up the whole deweys. Adjust a little bit. Yeah. I'll put this guy in. Make sure you that way down. Yeah. And hold your finger here and then close it. No. <laughs> You're not dumb, are you? <laughs> Almost had her. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't that have hurt? Whoa. <laughs> oh, that would have hurt. So, let's have a back look, looky see at her here. Where the heck is the license plate? How in the crap is anybody supposed to see the license plate under there? What is our plate number? I actually never looked at that. N6703C, no two nines. Wow. That's the same on my other trailer here. I don't know, that's a stupid place to put it. Let's go look at this other one too. See, even this one is like way underneath. It's not as bad, but they mount it like on the frame part there. I don't know. Seems kind of a silly place to put it. And actually, I had a, a police officer follow me on the way down, and he's probably maybe looking for the plate, but I guess he saw it, but I don't know. Well, one of you has asked for a cold start on the boulevard the other day. Well, it's not really cold out now, but I guess we're not going to be riding anymore now, eh, Dale? No. Until springish time or whatever. So we're going to do a cold start, and uh, and uh, I'm going to probably pull a battery out of them, hopefully take it inside. Um, anyways, let's put the dewey in there, and I leave it in. Oh, well, I got to kick it into neutral too. Oh yeah. Do you want to film, Dilly? Okay, got him. Make everybody sick. See him back a little bit. And aim, aim her down there. Okay. Hold her still, Billy! Batten down your ear balls. That was pretty loud, wasn't it? <laughs> that don't wake up the neighbors. Probably nothing will. And I don't mean the dead ones, I mean the ones that are still alive on the other side. Sorry, neighbors. Well, that's had a pretty good little run. I gotta get the uh, toolbox kit thing out of here. Come on now. There's a little rubber. A little rubber stabber deweys that hold that on there. There's another little external cover. And uh, then we gotta get that little tool kit out of here because inside of here. Mm hmm. 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 Okay. Guess I didn't want that coming off. Look at how dirty this thing is, too. Oh, man. I feel so bad. I'd really like to get it in a spot where it's heated and then um, condensation wouldn't get on her and stuff, but I mean, what can you do? Okay, so this should all come off as one like that. Mm -hmm. oh, I'll take that inside so the mice don't find it and chew it up. This screw will put back in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a tool for a valley too. Well, I guess there's one. 
we'll probably get away with this little guy even. Um, yeah. strap holding this battery and it should I think if I can grab it here if I remember right dirty little thing to get out of there. You need a little handily guy on the top of you. All right, well, that's out. That's good. We'll just kind of tuck these down in here. And uh, I'll just put this maybe right there for springtime. And then this thing we'll just kind of put um, be up here too. Uh-huh. And there we go, I guess that should be hopefully it. Hopefully the little turds leave it alone. Um, I guess anywhere you put anything, they really want to get into it. Mice, I mean, they're gonna get into it. <laughs> Regardless, so. This is what I don't like. That condensation-y stuff, because what gonna, what's gonna happen is, uh, well, she's pretty much full. That's what you gotta do is leave it full. Of gas so as full as you can get her and then um, the, the condensation can't build in the tank and then drip through and then rot the bottom of your tank out so hopefully I got her now this will be a little bit of condensation from the heat of the engine too but um, the coldness of the gas in there too with a hot and cool day will also make it condense which it looks like it has been doing here so it is down a little bit from, I guess, our ride home the other day. So I'm going to, uh, I think I got a bit of gas here. I'm just going to top her back up. Oh, it looks like someone's out on his bike. <laughs> I got her going for him. Fired it up. It actually started pretty good. Someone left the key on though, so it was dead. So we just kick-started her. But uh, anyway, so uh, I'm going to take the uh, battery in, put her on my tender. You know, it's probably fine because it started pretty good. So, And uh, we'll go from there. Here it comes. Let's get him around the side of the house here. Whoa, I don't lose her myself. Did he come or did he turn around? A little turdy, turn around. Where'd he go? He did, he was going down the road again. <laughs> A little turd. Oh well, I'm gonna head her out anyways. Put this battery in the side, it's getting heavy. So yeah, there we go. Freaking awesome trailer. And you're probably still wondering, why on earth would you need that? Well, I got some heavier kind of machinery kind of stuff that needs uh, a little bit more trailer, and there's a little bit more trailer. So, I didn't really want to buy something brand new, like nine grand. No, I don't think so. This was on this website. I've been looking at it for about a month, and I went and talked to him and uh, made a deal. So, there we go. But anyways, uh, thanks again for watching. We'll catch you later. Oh, is he coming in now? Do some donuts for you. Do some donuts. What? Do some donuts. That's how I broke my clutch last time. Oh, don't do donuts then. <laughs> Having fun? Yeah. Looks like you need to wash that thing. Yeah. Oh, wait, it's a dirt bike though, right? Yeah. It's slippery? Yeah. It's really crappy? Yeah. Hang on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, that one's jammed in good. Warmed up yet? Oh man. I'll have fun. Don't break your clutch. Yeah. I turned my choke down on Oh, that's good. He keeps wiping out and breaking these things off right in there. The clutch lever. And they're not very strong. 
strong. So have fun. Say yeah. goodbye. Neighbor hates us, <laughs> I'm sure. Oh dear.